Hi guys, so today we're going to show you how to use the uh, Super Flow VS pump. So this is if you don't have an Easy Touch panel and you're going to want to program your pump with the computer here. Okay, so first thing we're going to do to program the pump is we're going to set the date and time. So to do that, hold the display button for three seconds. Okay. And then we're going to see a 24 hour format or a 12 hour format. So you can change that using the plus and minus arrow. Okay, so select whatever one you prefer, then hit your display button again. Um, and then you can change your time. So right now it's 308, so we've already got this set to 308, but you can hit your up and down arrow to uh, have that selected for you. Okay, once you hit your display button again, it's going to ask you which brightness you want your screen to be at. So I just keep it at 100% at all times. Okay, so once that's done, we can hit the display button one more time. Now, this pump here to program it, how the pump works is um, when you hit start, it automatically runs the speed one. Then when speed one is done, it'll automatically run speed two, then automatically run speed three, and then turn off, and then it'll only turn on when speed one is scheduled to turn on again. Okay, so on a normal pump, we want to run this 12 to 24 hours a day. I like to give the pump uh, roughly around 16 hours of runtime in a 24 hour period. So that should be enough to circulate your whole water. Okay. So to program our speeds and our times on these buttons here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that your start stop light is off, okay? So this is on, make sure it's off, okay? When it's off, you're gonna go ahead and select your button. So here I'm selecting button number one, okay? This is currently showing the speed that I want uh, for my number one, okay? A normal speed for a pool is normally around 2000 RPMs, okay? So we're gonna set our speed one to 2000 RPMs here, okay? You can set your speeds to whatever you'd like. Uh, the lower your speed is set, the more you'll save on hydro. But just keep in mind that if your speed is set too low, you're gonna get a red flow light on your salt chlorinator and that won't work, okay? So if, you're, if you set your speed to something lower than 2000, go take a look at your salt chlorinator when it's running and see if your red flow light is on. If it's on, that speed you selected is too low, okay? So again here, um, we, we've got our one flashing, our speed we're gonna set to 2000. Once I hit this again, it's gonna ask me, when do you want me to start speed one? Okay, so in this particular case, I'm going to start this at 7 p.m., okay? Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do 12 hours at nighttime because that's generally when uh, hydro's cheaper, okay? So I'm at 7 p.m. start time, I'm gonna hit the one button again. Now it's asking me duration, so how long do I wanna run this for? So I'll say 12 hours, so that'll bring me from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. on speed number one, which is 2000 RPMs, okay? So our speed one is set. What I'm gonna to wanna to do now is I want to kind of shut the pump off for a little bit and then turn it back out or on at around uh, 12 p.m. noon. And we'll let the pump run for a couple hours at noon. The reason I'm doing that is because if you're on the smart meter, that's normally your mid-peak hours. Uh, so that's where you're, you know, not spending too much on hydro either, okay? We don't wanna run the pump right after 7 a.m. because at 9 a.m. between nine and, uh, or sorry, uh, seven to nine, that would be a high peak hour in hydro, okay? So to let the pump have a break, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the speed two. Now it's asking me what my speed I want for speed two. So I actually want the pump to be off on speed two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down here and I'm gonna change that 1400 to zero RPMs, okay? So remember I told you how the pump's gonna run automatically speed one, then it'll switch back to speed two right away, and then speed three. What we're doing is we're kind of tricking the pump to add a gap so that it runs speed one, stops, and then runs speed three, okay? So I'm gonna hit speed two again. Now it's gonna ask me how long I wanna run at zero RPMs for. So remember my pump shuts off at 7 a.m., and I wanna bring that to uh, 12 uh, p.m., so at noon, okay? So I'm going to run that for five hours, okay? So from 7 a.m., to 12 p.m., the pump will be on zero RPM, so nothing's gonna happen, okay, so that's what I want. Now at 12 p.m., so speed three is gonna start at 12 p.m., we're gonna bring that up to our normal speed, which is 2,000 RPMs, okay? And we want that pump to shut off at 3 p.m., so I'm gonna let the duration here for three hours, okay? So just to recap, I've got speed one, which is 2,000, that's my normal running speed, starting at 7 p.m., running for 12 hours, which will shut off at 7 a.m., then the pump will automatically go to speed two, which is zero RPM. So the pump will be off at this time, and it's going to be off for five hours. That brings me to noon. And then at noon, speed three will start, which has a regular speed of 2,000, and it's going to run for three hours until 3 p.m., and then shut off. Then my pump will turn back on at 7 p.m. and restart the whole schedule again, okay? 
It's nice to have a high speed button on your pump in case you want to vacuum or drain quickly. So I'm going to set the high speed to the quick clean button here, okay? So the quick clean is going to be your high speed. Now you can set your speed to whatever you want. If you have a sand filter, make sure you don't set this pump speed to higher than 2800 RPMs, okay? In this case, we've got a cartridge filter, so we're safe to go ahead and set this at 3000 RPMs. Okay, and now the quick clean, so that's my speed I'm going to use for my high speed. And whenever I press this button, it's going to last for how long? I'm just going to put five hours on here just to be safe. So in case you want to drain your pool, instead of running your pool on, okay, instead of running your pool on your regular uh, schedule here, what you would do is you would hit your high speed button to drain your pool or vacuum your pool or whatnot. Okay, um, now if I hit my start stop button, okay, my green light's on, that means I'm running my current schedule. Okay, so if you remember, um, our pump shut off at 3 p.m., so that's why nothing's happening right now, okay? If um, it was 2 p.m. right now and I had to hit start stop and I've got a green light, my speed three would automatically start up, okay? So just keep in mind, if you come out here during the day and your pump's not on and you start it up because you want the jets going or something like that or you want a vacuum and you're using the quick clean, once you're done, make sure that you shut off the pump and then just turn it back on and make sure the green light's on. That'll ensure that you're running your schedule you've programmed. If you don't have your green light on, it's never going to run the schedule. So make sure that light is always on, okay? Um, when that light is on, you can always bypass the schedule. So let's say right now uh, my green light's on, I'm not scheduled to be on, but I want to turn the pool on. I can just go ahead and hit speed one, okay? And that's going to fire up and run my speed one. Now, if you look here, it says PR1 priming. So the pump automatically primes for five minutes and then it'll go back down to your speed one, okay? So after five minutes, it'll slow down and it'll go to our 2000 RPMs, okay? When this is running, if ever you want the quick clean or you want the high speed button, all you gotta do is hit the quick clean button and then your pump goes to high speed, okay? So that's it for this pump here.